My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. You know, I keep asking for centerfolds in our videos. Well, we've got one here, 69 Camaro. This is from 2006. This car was featured because it's a little bit of a story, right? Right now it's a rotisserie restored factory Daytona yellow car, 350, air conditioned, four speed, gauges, deluxe interior, power steering, power brakes. Uh, the list goes on and on. But what makes it even extra special, it was born yellow with the bright yellow deluxe houndstooth interior. And when it was restored, here's the whole story on how the guy resurrected the car because it was so rare. And there it is with the yellow interior. Yellow interior is not for everybody. So recently, uh, the previous owner of the car changed all the black or yellow to a black interior, which looks fantastic as well. But this is a factory yellow on yellow car. Uh, we've also got a photo album of the restoration, front to back, top to bottom, rotisserie restored. It's a fantastic Camaro. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, look at over 100 pictures, and that's where you'll find the price tags on over 200 collector cars that we offer for sale. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, that way you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. So yeah, to just reiterate what I just said, this car as it sits is incredibly desirable. When do you find a four speed with factory air and all these options? Daytona yellow is a great color, uh, supposedly only available on the Super Sport. Uh, but it is really cool knowing it was born. It still has the cowl tag, 714. It was born with a yellow deluxe interior, which is extremely rare. It is available. We're not talking dash and carpet and everything. We're talking seat covers and door panels. So if anyone wanted to make it yellow again, it would not be a big deal. Otherwise, this is all brand new and it's gorgeous as well. So underneath the car, every nut and bolt was restored. Uh, the story goes, he found this car. The, the gentleman that owned it, actually his father drag raced a 69 Camaro, won championships and that. So this guy was kind of a Camaro fan growing up. Uh, he purchased this car, realized what it was, and uh, decided to go all out. So rotisserie restored means just that. It was put on a rotisserie where you flip it upside down and work on it from every angle. So it was a bare shell. Every component under the car was removed uh, and all rebuilt. The whole entire suspension, bushings, ball joints, shocks, springs, steering components, all of it was replaced. Uh, it has frame connectors tying the front to the back that helps prevent the body twist. The entire brake system was all redone. It has disc in front. Uh, looks like stainless steel lines, and I think this had stainless braided hoses as well. The e-brake assembly is all hooked up. It's got a real nice uh, dual exhaust system with the crossover pipe, uh, stainless steel mufflers, and it has the nice stainless steel tips coming out the back. The fuel system was all replaced, the tank, sending unit, stainless steel fuel lines. The bottom of the motor is still clean, Chevy orange. The starter still looks fresh. The transmission, it's an auto gear M21. Auto gear is like a reproduction of the original Muncie. So it's a newer, better version of the Muncie uh, that's in there. All new shift linkage, center force clutch. Uh, so no new U-joints. Uh, in back, it's a 12 bolt rear end with 373 Posi gears. The floors are super clean, all metal floors. You don't see patches or splices. They did replace a lot of metal on the car and they bought uh, the GM uh, Goodmark, I think it is. Yeah, uh, sheet metal, that's from GM. That's high quality metal and uh, removed any rust or damage. So it's an all metal car. The floors, the body, all fits real nice. Everything is straight. 
the gaps line up nicely and it's been done since 06 and I went around the car looking and feeling. I don't find any bubbles, no problem areas. It's all real nice, no cracking, shrinking, uh, no, no issues at all. It's a metal cowl induction hood. Repainted its original Daytona yellow. It's a PPG paint. It is smooth and glossy. Again, no problem areas. It's not shrinking. There's no, no funny spots, nothing weird going on. This is all real nice. All fits real nice. So the paint's beautiful. Uh, this is called the Halo vinyl top. It has that little bit of yellow showing around it, and it was replaced. All of the exterior trim was new. Uh, all the stainless moldings, door handles, the correct antenna, the grills, marker lights, bumpers, all of it was replaced. This has the exterior trim package. That's the rain gutters, the louvers, and wheel well moldings. Spoilers front and back. The SS has black tail panel. That's why it's painted black. New rear window, new windshield. Uh, inside the window is nice. It has the correct metal uh, speaker uh, grills. All the trim is all redone. The SS wheels are in excellent shape. The trim, the caps, the paint, the lug nuts are all excellent. VF Goodrich tires look like they're new. Has the hockey stick stripe correctly applied. Door jams are all painted nice. The sill plates, weather strips, and the fuzzy seals were replaced. Now it's a correct 350 motor, been completely rebuilt, bored. Uh, it has the GM pink rods. Uh, I think the heads were ported and polished, so it's a nice motor. It's got a big 750 Holley on there. And uh, it's a little cold blooded. Once it warms up, it's really sweet. Functional cowl induction system. It was more than just the hood. You also had the air cleaner. But a lot of people don't know there's a little flapper door in there that's run off a solenoid. It opens and closes. That's all there. It has a set of headers on it. Every component looks new or restored. The brackets, the alternator, the fuel pump, the power steering. Factory air conditioning, it's all hooked up and it was updated to 134 Freon. So the interior from carpet to headliner has been redone, uh, has reproduction rubber mats, the cushions in the seats are new, all the upholstery, the headrests are new, complete set of GM seat belts, they look like they're reproduction, they're really nice. The deluxe interior includes the molded door panels. Actually, the pull strap was yellow. They painted it black. You can see the yellow coming back through. Trunk compartments, all clean metal. No signs of patches. Spatter painted real nice. The jam and the trunk lid are painted yellow. The weather strip, the mat, the seat insulation, the stickers were replaced. It has a rally wheel with a new radial tire for a spare and the complete jack assemblies there. So you have a complete trunk. Back inside here, the whole dash area, the dash pad, the lenses, the gauges, the vents, the radio, the heater controls, all of that looks like it's replaced. It all fits real nicely. It has a factory tachometer in the dash, has a factory AM FM radio that works, a deluxe three spoke wheel, has the center console in excellent shape with the gauges in the console as well. Back in the motor compartment, we got power brakes. It's a cadmium plated booster. The master was replaced, all the stainless brake lines. Um, it has GM hoses and clamps, uh, the correct clutch fan, the shroud, the radiator looks new, the right cap, Delco battery topper with spring clamp cables. Uh, it has the right heater control valve, has the hood insulation, has the horns, the squirters are hooked up. Complete new wiring harness throughout the car as well. Interior lights work, headliners tight as a drum, the visors, the mirror were replaced. And then I just opened the glove box. There's actually a modern stereo in the glove box, and I can see through the windshield in the dash as the uh, speaker was replaced with two speakers there. 
and new speakers in the back as well. <clears throat> the dash pad fits nice, it's not warped. The photo album, which I'll try and copy some of these pictures, but it's a bare shell gutted inside and out on a rotisserie. Here's the VIN number stamped on the cowl behind uh, the parts. You can't see when it's together. Here it is flipped upside down, painted black underneath. All the components coming together, the engine coming together. So it's really nice to have this documentation. Uh, and then the magazine article too. So there you have it. This is a very rare special car. Uh, you know, Four-speed air with all these options. I mean, this, this is what everyone wants. It's a high-quality car. There's about 6,000 miles on it since it's been redone. Uh, and they took excellent care of it. And really, whoever built it uh, did an excellent job because it looks like it was done two years ago. So that's my opinion. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to reach out to the salesmen. If you have questions or concerns, please discuss that with them. They'll help you the best they can. They can help get this delivered to your door. They can help you with financing. That's all at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click on that bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. Thanks for watching.